Hi, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a Tesa Height electronic height gauge from Hexagon Metrology. Swiss made Tesa Height height gauges allow you to take height, ID, OD, width, depth, slot, and center line measurements. They're a highly regarded and versatile surface plate tool used in machine shops all over the world. So let's get started. Once you've turned the instrument on, a double bar appears on the screen. Step one is to enter the gauge into measuring mode. This clears the scale and prepares the gauge for measuring. Slowly move the measuring head up until you see two triangles appear on the display. Once these arrows are displayed, you can start bringing the probe down the column. Continue bringing the measuring head down until start one is displayed. The tool is now in measuring mode and ready to calibrate. Calibration requires just a few steps and puts the gauge into Start 2 mode, which allows you to measure in two directions. Start by pressing F2 and establishing the probe constant using the setting master. It's important that the setting master diameter matches the displayed value that appears on the screen when you press F2. In this case, the display reads 0.25000 and the setting master is also 0.25000. It doesn't matter if you start by making contact on the top or the bottom, but you will take four hits with the probe on the setting master. When you're finished, the display reads Start 2 and the gauge is ready to measure. For this example, I'm going to zero on the surface plate. I touch the probe to the surface twice to set the zero. This establishes the surface as my primary datum. Next, I'll measure the top and bottom of this bore and get the center line of the bore to the surface or primary datum point. Now I move up to this next bore and measure again to get the center line of this bore to the surface. After I've taken these two measurements, I can select F4 to instantly retrieve the measurement of the distance between the center line of these two bores. Join us again and I'll show you how easy it is to reset the datum point with a single push of a button on the control panel. I'll also demonstrate how to sweep to capture a diameter. For more information on this or other measuring solutions, go to tasagroup.com.